Hello Fire Signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning into this spread. Um, you will see some wonderful cards laid out in front of you here. And this is going to be a sort of love story slash who's coming towards you love reading. So hopefully there's something here that will help guide you in your current love situation. If you're currently involved with someone uh, or if you're waiting for this romantic um love energy to come your way this reading could be applicable for you so thank you for tuning in uh, if you like this content don't forget to like the video and also to subscribe to the channel to get updates when readings for your sign are posted um, otherwise let's get straight into the reading and see what's coming up here uh, and we'll kick off the reading with the empress and we'll end with the hierophant uh, in the corner here so um Look, starting off with the Empress, this is a very powerful attraction um, that's coming in around you, okay? So the Empress is very beautiful. Um, so there's a very strong attraction that's currently around you or will be uh, very, very soon. Um, and it could be a physical attraction. Um, I'm actually seeing lust that's being turned into an opportunity of love. Now, the Empress can rule fertility. So for some of you, this person is a mother or a father figure. Um, they may have had a family uh, or they may even be unavailable. So for some of you, it could even be like an affair type love um, that's coming up around you with the Empress. So we've got this beautiful attraction, and what I love is that the next two cards that you have are the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups, and this tells me there's two powerful opportunities to make this relationship happen, um, or that you'll get two major attempts with this person. So there's lots to do with second chances here, um, and there's lots to do with multiple ways in which you can get this relationship going. It could also indicate that there's two different people that are coming up around you. An important choice will need to be made because both will be offering you commitment and relationships. We've got the judgment card coming up. So there's a major judgment call you're going to have to make. My inkling is that you're going to have to choose between two different people. Okay, so this is a little bit, yeah, a little bit of a struggle here. Um, but I feel like the universe, your spirit guides, angels will give you the right messages and they will point you in the right direction here. The judgment card can also be like... Um, when you are a little bit deeper into this connection, um, if this person is attached to another person, they may separate or divorce from that person for you. So it's very likely that um, splittings or divorce settlements or something like this could happen for this romantic energy. Um, and that's going to bring the two of you closer together as indicated by the next card, the Four of Pentacles, where the two of you are going to be really clinging to each other. Um, there's a really, uh, it's like you're very gonna, you're, you're gonna be very dependent on this person. You're also gonna be very private about the relationship. So it's almost like you two are gonna break off together and build your own little world. You're not gonna really tell people or be exclusive. You might want it, um, a private relationship at this stage. We do have the death card coming up next, which could indicate a Scorpio energy. It could indicate an ex coming back into the picture whilst you're in this relationship, either for yourself or for your person. So the past resurfaces at that stage where you sort of become more private and more intimate. There will be something you need to walk away from with the five of swords or something that this person needs to walk away from, okay? It's about um, potentially moving third party, uh, removing third party situations, getting rid of exes, especially if there's three people involved so anything to do with a love triangle, there's a message here that the Five of Swords is walking away from a situation. Now, if you are able to walk away, this is definitely going to strengthen you as indicated by that powerful strength card. Strong Leo energy here. This is your relationship becoming even stronger and better if you're able to overcome past issues, past loves, past pains, etc. So that's fantastic to see. Um, the moon is a real deep emotional bond that starts to surface and a lot of emotional sensitivity. So you might start to see that a lot of um, these deep subconscious thoughts are awakened within you, but also awakened within your person. Um, the moon is about the mother. So for some of you, there may be... Um, issues around your mother, your parents, your bless, their blessing, their approval, um, your future mother-in-law. There could be some tensions around that, um, but there's lots to do with care and compassion that needs to be shown here as well. 
there's a real emotional honesty with the Knight of Cups. Someone is going to want to prove themselves to you. Um, there's an offer, an engagement, a, a big gesture or a big proclamation coming with the Knight of Cups from this person here. So that's fantastic to see. What will follow next is the Five of Swords reversed. So, uh, sorry, Five of Cups. Someone is not able to let go of something or let go of some emotional baggage that has happened between the both of you. It's still a recurrent issue. It may be connected to the Death card here earlier earlier um, but if you're able to work through that you will be able to come into that king of pentacles energy which is taurus energy so once you if you're able to identify these issues at least that's great because then you can move into, uh, move into this more honest romantic energy with the king of pentacles this is almost like someone will try to overcompensate um, for the issues that have been caused in the relationship. And they'll try to do it in a very, very romantic way is what I'm seeing with the King of Pentacles. Um, by this stage, some of you could be moving in with your person or having a lot more routine in your life together, um, which is fantastic. The next card you have is a Nine of Cups. So a wish comes true for you, Fire Signs. Something you've wanted very deeply um, in love or in your relationship. Um, a wish is fulfilled, something is given to you, or you're fulfilling someone's wishes. And we've got this beautiful harmonious period. The sun card can represent fertility and children. So some of you may be blessed with a child at this stage in your relationship. The sun is also about this opening up. Okay, now this is someone becoming more open, you becoming more open, more vulnerable, children of vulnerability. Um, but like I said, it's it's that inner child. So this is like peace. A lot of peace in the relationship is going to follow um, in this stage of the sun card. The Two of Pentacles comes next. So this is all about balancing this new peace, balancing each other's love and loyalty. There could be a living situation here, possibly some of you breaking into a long distance pattern here. Um, it could be a lot of back and forth at this stage. You're sort of juggling a lot. So there's a lot of busyness, a lot of activity happening in the relationship by that Two of Pentacles stage. The Three of Wands, you're moving abroad, moving in together, planning for the future, taking a big trip, one that is going to be memorable and really stand out to you. Um, the Three of Wands is really like you're looking to further horizons here. Um, so this is you, something to do with long-term planning, things that you sort of speak about, you'll bring into existence, but this is something to do with your long-term future. So a long-term plan um, comes to the uh, surface here. You then have the Six of Cups, so it could be fertility, more children, creating a happy family home. Um, this is getting your person involved with your family and your friends. Again, lots to do, lots, lots of harmony, sweetness, romance, thoughtfulness um, is coming up here with the Six of Cups. Um, it could be a card of family, okay? Family acceptance, blessings from family. You've got support here, uh, but it could also be the past. But the past is coming back in a good way, and the past is here to teach you a lesson in your current relationship um, maybe where you stand with this person it's it's really a sweetness um, and, and it could be like missing each other or longing for each other so you might actually have some time apart here and if that's the case with the six of cups it's a beautiful card saying that you will in fact wonderfully miss each other and miss being with each other and connecting um, and all those sorts of things and then the last card is like the promise of marriage with the Hierophant. It's a bit out of the picture, but the Hierophant, beautiful ending. Some of you are going to get engaged or married to this person. This is having a lot of love. Your status is going to change. The Hierophant is all about status. So you might enter in a, into a status that you've never been before. For example, if you've never been engaged, you may be engaged. If you've never been married, you, you know, you might be married. If you've never been in a civil partnership, this might be the status change that is coming for a lot of you. But this is like the key to your happiness um, and lots to do with like a traditional relationship here so this this beautiful notion of happily ever after um, rings true to this reading so I do hope you identify somewhere along this story fire signs thank you again for tuning in and please don't forget to like share and subscribe uh, and hopefully we shall be in touch very very soon so take care everyone all the best and bye for now